time now for the third quarter final in the women's recurve individual here in Yankton. Korean in the lineup here in the quarterfinals. Two Koreans and San already through. In he, the 22-year-old, is coming away from the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games with a team gold medal. She's also in the team that took the gold in the team competition here in Yankton. She goes up against the reigning European champion from France, Lisa Barbelin. So on the podium in the team competition here. She's burst onto the scene recently. She's up against this lady here, Jan, who starts with a beautiful 10. Timing, quick shots. Much longer hold, slightly high. Puts the set out of reach. 29 means John will have the two points and Barbalag over correcting just a little bit more for a 26. Now, we've seen Barbalag burst onto the scene over the last couple of years, albeit uh, with the hiatus we've had in international sport. She, she has a a certain amount of joy in the way she shoots it, always smiling it. Even though she's gone two set points down, she goes back to the coach with a big smile on her face. It's a big part of her game, she's just 21 years old. I absolutely love it. I love watching her. Um, she's really exciting to watch. And I, I feel like she's got this fire within her. You know, she's so, so determined. And she came to the European champs. Um, not only did she become the European champion, but pretty much believe she got her Olympic qualifying spot there as well. And her eyes just burnt through the target and you know she's full of this energy which she's still got and like you say she just lost the set but hey come back and be positive about it she, I think she sort of said to the coach yep yeah, I know what happened there let's go look at it bounced on the line yeah eager to get this one going just 21 years old but she's already the anchor of a very young French squad as they start their uh, shortened quadrennial for the home Olympic Games in 2024 in Paris can she fight back here? Two down to Jang of Korea. Barbalan will shoot first at the start of the second. And she tends to be slightly longer at full draw, but much better arrow from her. from the set before. The consistency in that timing, you know, for a non-archer, you probably don't understand, you know, how difficult that is just to keep things ticking over and rhythmical and, you know, the Koreans do that really well. Just on the line for a 28. 
can be matched by Jang, but she'll need to put it in the 10 ring. And she's put it in the nine for a 27, so just like that, Barbalan has bounced back immediately two set points apiece here between Jang and Barbalan. That looks like the closest contest we've had so far. Thank you. She's bouncing on the line beforehand, Lisa Barbara. The smile's still there. Uh, perhaps more reason for it now, though. She's just loving it. And, you know, when you're in that place where you just can't wait to get onto that shooting line, like, that is the... That is when you shoot your best archery. Um, just, as I say, she's a great archer to watch, full of energy, and she's got to maintain this all the way through now. She can't drop it. Such a tough opponent in Jan. Jan, having had a chat with Coach, she's trying to reset herself. Start of the third here. Jang will shoot first. All tied up with Barbalan, and now the door is open. Interesting to see Lisa Barbalan absolutely sprint to the line when the clock went off. She wants to get there first. Yeah, I mean, she's at war, literally at war with this target right here. You know, she was doing lots of self talk, real positivity. Looking like she's going to go out there and attack it, and you've got to do that. This is a martial art, and you have to commit. You have to attack it. Barbalands keeping this in her own hands. She's in control of her destiny here, whatever Jang puts down at the range. Ah. 26 gives Barbaland breathing room here. No one will be enough to take the lead. Put it into the eight for another 26, her second of the match. So they share the set points in the third. Opportunity wasted, perhaps? Maybe, but look at, again, the body language. Came back, high-fived the coach straight away. Other archers have come back despondent, disappointed. And then you go out there and you're not in the right place. But her mentality is just exactly what you want. This is brilliant. How much of that? Is, is going to be uh, having an effect on her opponent as well. Well, yeah, quite. I mean, you know, we know that Koreans' culture can be a lot more quiet. We've seen other Koreans, though, um, in the men's category with lots of fighting and, you know, shouting as well. So, But on the whole, I'd say they're pretty quiet. So it might be, you know, affecting the Koreans slightly. The interesting dynamic here as well is the left-hander facing the right-hander. In Korea, we don't see left-handed archers, so we very, very rarely shoot face-to-face -face with someone else. Does that add a dynamic? Three apiece here in this Rico women's individual quarter final between Jang and Barbalan. Set four to come. Immediately <laughs> shot. Both archers going right of where their normal groups are, but again, I can't see any difference in the conditions around them. Hey. Well, that's just opened the door. Overcorrection, perhaps? Oh, difficult to say. I mean, the group's to the left, but for a right-handed archer, left arrows are 
perhaps a release error of some kind, but I can't even see that from the Korean. The technique looks so good. Barbalan followed suit going left. That one's also left and definitely in the eight. Or 26. So, a little bit of breathing room here, but a 10 would definitely put this one to bed for Barbalan. Oh, she's popped it into the eight for a provisional 25 for that second arrow needs to be measured it's marked for a measure do you have a feeling for whether this is going to get marked up oh, it looks so close i mean i'm tempted to think it might be um it certainly was close but we're gonna have to wait for the official confirmation with that well, jang's reaction would suggest that uh, the coaches had a quick look at it the eight will remain an eight. We need to see what the target judge is going to call here. She got it, it's been marked up. Nine, nine, eight. The tide set. So we're all square still for a piece now after four. So we go into the fifth and final regulation set. Oh, these two be separated, or are we going to get a Nikki Hunt special a shoot off? Time for the crucial fifth set here. Nothing between Jang and Barbalan. Again, group to the left. Another adjustment to the side. The coach talking about execution movement. Group, just both high left. Another adjustment to the site. She's got to bring these in. It's another opportunity for Barbalan. Can she take it at the second time of asking? Nah. I think she's moved further away. Well, how important is this arrow for Jang? She puts it in the 10. It's going to be a huge amount of pressure on Barbalan. It was a long hold, wasn't it? We could see a little bit of movement for the first time. Dropped it low. Now there's an opportunity for Barbalan to seal this. She needs a nine. She's had two already. Oh, she's put it into the eight as well. She sees the funny side of it, but both of them held on to their last arrows for just a little bit too long. They finished the regulation five sets at five points apiece. And actually now we're seeing on the Korean side of the line a rueful smile, perhaps picking off or feeding off Barbaland's energy. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think Jang thought she was out there and this is just another chance, isn't it, for her to come back in this one-hour shoot-off. But again, I just love Barbaland's kind of attitude to it all, you know, just come off the line and, hey, I did my best and, you know, we're still in this. Yeah, the humour that she uh, employs is a uh, great well, battler of the stress. I mean, it was kind of like uh, uh, whatever the French word is for oops. As she, that was the expression she gave when she turned round to her coach. Silly me. Oh, well, we'll get another go in the shoot-off. No pressure, just another arrow to go. But she's loving it. She's enjoying it. She's on the stage and she can't wait to shoot another arrow. So why not? Look at her bouncing up and down. I love it. I love the energy. Yeah, it's great to see. Really good to see Barbara. And she's a breath of fresh air in the women's field. And she's just 21 years old. And she's 
a serious contender to these very strong Koreans. Jang, though, well, perhaps not the model of consistency from her compatriot Anne, but she's here as well. She's in with a shout of making it two Koreans into the semi-finals, and because they're in the opposite half of the draw, the two of them could actually meet in the final, go all the way through to meeting the final. That's what the Korean coach and fans will be looking for. Barbaran is looking to stop that from happening. Quarter final time here on Recurve Sunday. The targets have been cleaned, they've been replaced. Fresh target in case we go for a measure. And it will be Jang against Barbaran with one arrow to decide who goes through to the semi finals here at the World Championships. What timing she had there. She just got on with that, didn't she? And committed to the shot on the X-ring. Great arrow from Jang. What can Barbaran do? Quick one from her as well. That is also very close, but it looks like it might be just a fraction wider. The smile on the face of Jang suggests that is the case. And a pat on the back from the coach. They're going to wait for the official confirmation, but the body language on the French side also suggests that this one has just skipped away. A measure being done. Well, the tears are fingers crossed, but I think she... Well, I think it's maybe too close to call. She's crossing her fingers. No, there we go. Confirmation from the entire joke that Jang has done this, but I tell you what, that would have been a very, very critical measure. It was so, so close. It really was. Fantastic shoot-off arrows from both archers. Jang, I think, really hit that X-ring, so we could see it was just in, but while Barbalem wasn't far off it, was she? Just millimetres. Absolutely fantastic shooting. Well, a quarter final, they just kept on giving. Jan goes through 6 5 on a shoot off against Barbalan. An exceptionally close shoot off it was as well.